Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit more about long multiplication. Now, this is something that you really need to try to follow me on this, so if you want to pause the video at any time, then you can do. And the question that we're going to ask is 184 times 37. Now, the way that I learned it when I was a little bit younger is to use a formal method. And what I would do is rewrite this as 184 times 37. And the trick of this is to, again, know that these numbers are units, these are tens, and these are hundreds. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to completely ignore the tens columns, and I'm only going to work with the units. And exactly the same way that we did in short multiplication, I'm just going to work through it. So, 7 times 4 is 28. There's the 8. I've got to carry the 2. I'm going to write it there just to remind me. 7 times 8 is 56. Plus the 2 is 58. So I'll write down the 8. I'm also going to write down the 5 again just to remind me. 7 times 1 is 7. Add the 5 is 12. So the first thing I've done is I've multiplied 184 by 7. And the answer is 1,288. The next thing I need to do now is to take into account the tens column. So, I'm going to ignore the 7, and I'm going to multiply by the tens. But because I'm multiplying by the tens, I have to put a nothing in the units column. Because now I'm going to start working with tens. So, once again, 3 times 4 is 12. Write down the 2. And I'm also going to write down the 1 just to remind myself. 3 times 8 is 24, plus the 1 is 25. And I'm going to write down the 2. 3 times 1, uh, three times one is 3, plus the 2 is 5. So what I've got now is 5,520 is the answer to 184 times 30. If I now add those two numbers together, then that gives me 8 add nothing is 8. 8 add 2 is 10, carry the 1. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8. 5 add 1 is 6. So the answer to this question is 6,808. Now you might have had to pause the tape a few times just to check through my calculations there, but that's the way that I learnt it. And I'm going to show you a different way of doing it, which uses a grid method. And what we do is we, it's a very clever method, but it sometimes takes a little bit of time to do. So what we do is we recognise that these are hundreds, these are tens, and these are units. And we kind of do the same here, but we do it as a grid. So, I'm going to rewrite the question as 37 times 184. And I'm going to break it down into a grid. So it's a multiplication grid. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that that's 30 and that's 100. So there's 30 and there's 100. And if I multiply those two together, I get 3,000. Okay? So I've dealt now with that number and with that number. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that's 30 and that's 80. So 30 times 80 is 2,400. So I've now dealt with that number. The next thing I have to do is I have to say that's 30 and that's 4. So 30 times 4 is 120. So what I've done now is I've dealt with the tens column of that number multiplied by all those numbers. So now what I've got to do is I've got to deal with the units and do exactly the same thing. So, I'm going to put 7 there, and 7, there it is, times 100, there it is, is 700. 7 times 80, there it is, is 
560. 7, oh, I've dealt with the 8 there, 7 times 4 units, 7 times 4 units is 28. Now, in a sense, what we've done is exactly the same as this method over here, but we've just made it into a little bit more of a grid way of presentation. So what we've got to do now is we've multiplied all of these units by all of the other units. We basically add them together. So 3,000 plus 2,400 plus 120 is 5,520. 700 plus 560 plus 28 is 1,288. Guess what? Add the two together and we get 6,808. So we can still get the same answer by using this bread method and by using the formal method. And it's entirely up to you which one you choose. This one is OK. You need to know your times tables and you need to be able to carry. This one takes a little bit longer to present. But you don't need to know your times tables as well, and you can also uh, work out perhaps if you go wrong with something where you've gone wrong. Those are the two methods for doing long multiplication, and if you try them, there's some question sheets at the bottom of the screen for you to have a go at.